Well, that last game was a little bit rough, but I think I'll just record one more game for today. Normally I just do two games, but I'm kind of in the mood just to record one more game. So I really want to redeem myself after that last one. That just was so lame. Okay, so this is a little bit of a trap. I'm trying to remember what the line here is. Um, so I know this is a trap. I think there's some move that we have to do here. I believe where we get, there is some way to win the queen. I think what we do is we go here. He pushes G3 with his pawn and then we get check. Um, I believe that's the play if I remember this correctly. So this is the scotch game. And what I've learned through looking at my insights, yeah, nice. And I get a rook out of this, nice. I feel like I finally got this line down. Oh, so happy. Wait, oh, yeah. So that's free rook, yeah. So I looked at my insights and what I realized was that I had, I don't know why he defended that. I had a free pawn here. Um, what I realized was that I had like a, uh, I want to say it was like 60 or 70% lose rate or like 30 or 40% win rate against the Scotch game. And the reason why is because I would always recapture this knight. So here I more or less kind of have a free knight. Or no, I don't have a free knight because then he takes and... Um... Yeah, so now we have this as well. I have to be a little bit careful. He has discovered check here. Um, what's the move here? Maybe if he moves, I don't remember the move after this one. But anyways, what I was saying was um, you have a really bad win rate against the Scotch game. And so I was, uh, as black specifically. So I looked up how to defend against the Scotch game. And I believe that's the line right there where you get the um, the check with the queen on e5. And then you get that free rook. Um, and I think the trap there is for the opponent to attack your queen uh, with the g-pawn. So it looks like he went for it. So I'm pretty happy about this. I feel like I'm starting to learn a little bit. Okay, so uh, I'm trying to remember what the line is after this. I think I'll just centralize. If he wants to expose his queen, I'll take it. I'm up quite a bit here, so I'm fine to trade. So I think I can just keep going down. Let me see if there's a better line. He can push, but I can take his bishop. Or no, I can't actually. Yeah, he can push, I can't run back anymore. Yeah, I just don't know what the line is after that. Okay, so I'm being attacked there. Um, I'll go for this trade here. This is fine. Um, I believe I have another rook here. I know he can. Oh man, I just yeah, I just lost the queen. Okay. I should have. I should have seen that. That's really unfortunate. Damn, that's too bad. That's a bummer. That's a good play by him. Yeah. Um. I guess the best I can hope for is just to castle, right? Man, these last two games, I'm just really throwing away my leads. Bit frustrating. Um, I can't leave this undefended. Hmm. I'd like to castle, but I can't leave that undefended. What do we do? This is defended, so I can castle now at least. He still doesn't have a huge advantage, so. I'm going to try to just play this one out at least. 
Okay. I think there's still hope. Hmm. Let's see, if I take here, the queen's still protected. So, and I will have an option to pin his queen here pretty soon. I wonder if it would have been better to just take the knight there. I think it may have. Let's see. These three squares are protected, so I believe if I go rook e8, I can just take that knight for free next turn. And I should be ahead. Okay, well, that's a good move by him. Let's see. He just plain takes there. I wonder if I just attack his queen this way. Mm. No, that's not good. I'm looking for a square where I can just move the light square bishop and attack his queen this way. If I... Yeah... I think this is the best I can do. He'll probably notice this. I'll be shocked if he doesn't though. It's pretty obvious. Then again, we are at 740 ELO, so not everything's always obvious all the time. Maybe, maybe I should have went here for the double attack. Yeah, you know, I should have went I should have went here. He would have moved this queen and then I could have taken his rook. Yeah. Man, that really would have been the play, huh? Well, no, that wouldn't be the play because then he would just take the bishop. And then it wouldn't have mattered anyway. I guess I can attack his queen again. And then take the rook behind it. And then he'll just... Wow, well, where, where does he even protect that? I guess he has to move to f3 with his queen. To take that back. Yeah, okay, saw that coming. I wonder if we just drop a check here. What would that do? Hmm. I'm gonna lose a bishop. I don't think I gain anything by doing this. I think I just have to do this. I haven't really gained anything here, but I haven't really like lost anything either. This does attack his queen. I can attack his knight. E and this takes a pawn. Okay. This is going to be a really tough game to win. Hmm. 
Hm. Tough. Tough, tough, tough. I'll just make an escape for the king, I guess. Okay. This is still protecting. Um, I know he'll probably take here. Well, he'll have to jump his knight. Uh, I'm surprised he did that, honestly. Hmm. Do I trade bishops here? No, I'll take with the pawn first. He doesn't have a rook, and I have two bishops. So that's something. If I push this pawn, no, I can't capture that. He has a queen here. Interesting. Hmm. It's very interesting. I do like this defense. Give a useless check. Okay. Hmm. I see what he did. Well, this is protected. Can't go there. Maybe I go here and here. This would be a pretty nice um, discovered attack on his queen if he leaves his queen there. And he doesn't. Hopefully I didn't have some kind of like mate and two thing there. I need to start playing a bit faster. Okay. Can't do that. We'll see what I can make happen here. I have a feeling this is going to come down to time. He'll be forced to move here, here. Okay. Nope. We can just trade off bishops here. I just need one really good attack. Just got a pawn. Okay. I need to run with this.
снова. He's just gonna go for the draw. I think that move was a mistake. Ugh. Oh yeah, GG on time. Yeah, that was a mistake anywhere. Yeah, I wasn't gonna win this one. Uh, it feels bad. Yeah, it feels bad throwing away uh, such an advantage, but whatever, it happens. I'll just let him win here. That's fine. Man, one really bad blunder there. Where was it? In this position. Yeah. Failed to recognize that. It was in the back of my head. <laughs> Let's see. What should have been the move here? Yeah, it's such a bummer to throw away a lead like that. Uh, let me see what the move should have been, though. I mean, really, I feel like I could have just done anything else. Maybe just go down here or something. I think my biggest mistake this game was just not developing anything. Um, that was probably my one of my biggest mistakes because I had such a late castle or did I even castle this game? Or no, I didn't even castle. Yeah, so I didn't get a chance to castle. So maybe just developing more instead of focusing on capturing on his side of the board probably would have been the idea. But I was pretty happy about the start. I still think taking the rook there is the play. At least at this level. Oh, right. Take this. Right, 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 right. That bishop was pinned. Right. I didn't notice that. So he wouldn't even be able to reclaim that. Only with his queen. And then I could have taken the rook. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, where did he give away his advantage? So this was one bad move. This permits the opponent to win material through an eventual discovered attack. Ah, could have won the queen back. Let's Let's look at that again. How do I pause? Pause. Okay, so D2 check. Okay. So he takes. Check. Interesting. He basically just does anything else, really. Well, let's go back. Let's just say he takes. And then a discovered attack on the queen. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah, these kinds of moves are like beyond my level at this point, kind of beyond my pay grade. That's really clever though. Hmm. Good to know. Thanks, analysis engine. Okay, well, I think we all know where it fell apart. I had a good start, it fell apart. I had some opportunities to win but I didn't see them, but it's okay. I learned to um, 
handful of tricks this game, so it wasn't for nothing. Thanks for watching.